carrying over numbers one time. Let's look at this video scene. This is a cruise ship. The cruise ship stops at various ports throughout the world. We'll be looking at an Asian port where there are tour buses standing outside that carry 46 passengers each. How many total passengers can seven tour buses carry? Let's do the math. The tour bus capacity is 46 passengers. The question is, how many passengers can seven tour buses carry? So each bus carries 46, and there's seven of these buses. So we have to multiply 46 by seven to get the answer. So 46 times seven. Seven times six is 42. So we put the two over here, carry the four. Seven times four is 28, plus four is 32. So the seven tour buses can carry 322 passengers. Five of you take a trip to Africa. You go on a safari trip to see the wild animals. You rent a safari bus and begin your exciting journey. You cross a river with the bus. You spot a hippopotamus in the water. You see a mother giraffe and her baby. You spot elephants. You see a baby elephant following its mother. You see zebras. You see vultures eating a zebra. You see a mother lion and her cubs. She's making sure they're clean. You watch gazelles fleeing. Then you see a leopard taking its prey up a tree so it can have a peaceful place to eat. If this safari trip costs $135 per person, how much did it cost for the five of you? Let's do the math. The safari trip cost $135 a person. The question is, how much did the safari trip cost for five of you? Now that is some beautiful trip, wasn't it? To go on a trip like that and see all those wild animals. But let's try to solve this problem. So it cost $135 for each individual, and five people went. Five of you are going on this trip. So we've got to multiply 135 times five. Five times five is 25, and we carry over the two. Five times three is 15, and we have to add that two. That makes that 17. Five times one is five, plus one is six. So that trip would cost $675 for five people going on that safari trip. Please pause the video now and complete the problems in your workbook. When finished, press play and we'll continue with the next lesson.